these guys were able to crush a full hopper or the conveyor module in about 25 minutes of runtime with the jaw crusher. And the conveyor module hopper can hold about one cubic yard, but they, uh, you know, overfill the hopper. And so in this situation, it's probably holding somewhere between two and two and a half tons. And so when the hopper was full, they would shut the jaw crusher off. And then it took the hammer mill about an hour to process the hopper. So the jaw crusher was only running part of the time for this operation. One of the things that was very unique about this mine is their gold is very, very coarse. And so unlike most mines that want to crush as fine as possible, these guys actually had a screen that was fairly large. And so in some of the shaker table videos, you may be able to see uh, some larger pieces on the shaker table. And the reason they wanted to crush uh, the material fairly large is so that the gold didn't hang up in the hammer mill and get over over processed or grind up. And so these guys' goal is to process the tailings through a spiral classifier, as you can see here, auger out the oversized quartz, and then recrush at a later date to liberate more gold. But because a lot of their gold is so coarse, they have to do a, a coarse crush and concentrate first, and then they can come back later and uh, capture the fine gold once it's recrushed again through the hammer mill with a finer screen. 